Okay, good morning everyone. My name is Kandavav. Today I will discuss about MVC. Let us see what is MVC and what are the advantages of MVC and how the control will flow in MVC. Okay, MVC is nothing but it is a model view controller. Model view controller. Okay. So before going to MVC, actually MVC is related to ASP.NET. MVC is a replacement of what? ASP.NET. Right? And by there are some drawbacks in ASP.NET. By using MVC, we can overcome the drawbacks of ASP.NET. Let us see what are the drawbacks that are available in our ASP.NET and what are the advantages of what MVC. Is it clear? Yeah, the first advantage we will see. The first advantage of MVC is separation of code. The first advantage is separation of code. And the second advantage is loosely coupled. The second advantage is by using MVC, we can make the ASP.NET web application as a loosely coupled. And the third advantage is unit testing. We can easily test each and every particular module of that particular code in MVC. That is unit testing. Okay. And the fourth advantage is SEO operations. That is search engine optimization techniques. We can easily work with what? We can easily make our particular website popular when you try to develop our particular web application using MVC by implementing the search engine optimization techniques, SEO techniques. And the last advantage of MVC is powerful URL mapping. Powerful URL mapping. So these are the five advantages why we have to go for MVC compared with what? ASP.NET. So what I am telling here is MVC is the replacement of ASP.NET. MVC is the replacement of ASP.NET. Okay. Now here you can see the main advantage of MVC, the first point is separation of the code. Second one is loosely coupled. Third one is unit testing. We can make the testing easily when you develop the application in MVC. And search engine optimization. We can apply easily the SEO techniques for our particular application and the powerful URL mapping. Right? So, now we will discuss that how the control will flow in our MVC. What is this model? What is this controller? And what is this view? Right? So, here you can see. I have written one controller here. This is my controller. And here I have written one view. Here I have written one view. And here I have declared one model. I have written one model. So what is this MVC? MVC is nothing but it is a design pattern. What is a design pattern? Design pattern is a ready-made solution for the already existing problem. Right? It is a a ready-made solution for the already existing problem. MVC is not only related to ASP.NET, but MVC is common. Either in Java also you can find MVC will be there, and in .NET also you can find MVC. Right? It is a design pattern which is a ready-made solution to solve a already existing problem. Right? So here, yeah, if you try to observe, here when you try to work with MVC, you can see three files are there. One is controller, other one is view, another one is model. You can find three folders. Right? And here you can consider your database. You can consider your database. Controller is nothing but it is a class. Controller is what? It is a class. Any class that is inheriting from controller class is called as controller. Did you got it? So here I am declaring one class. The name of my class is home controller. The name of my class is home controller. Now if I ask you, is this class is a controller? No, it is not a controller. Why? Because this class is not inheriting from the controller class. What I am telling here is, any class that is inheriting from controller class is called what? Controller. So here I am writing, class home controller inheriting from what? Controller. Did you got it? Now this class is called as, as a controller. We will see what is the use of controller. 
what is the use of view what is the use of model we will discuss but before that one what i want to tell here is controller is a c sharp dot net class or vb dot net class is simply a class which is inheriting from which class controller class any class that is inheriting from controller class is called what controller similarly model is also nothing but what it is a class model is also nothing but it is a class where in dot net we will call the model class as poco class p o c o we will call the class as poco plain old clr object what is the class plain old clr object what is the difference between class and poco this poco class consists of this is a model class class the name of the class i'm giving as model class the poco class consists of only properties which properties automatic properties so what is the use of properties i think properties are used to access the private data members of one class to another class is it clear now as microsoft has introduced a beautiful concept called automatic properties if the class consists of only automatic properties then that class is called as poco plain old clr object is it clear now for example i'll declare one automatic property public int e number bracket open set to semicolon get to semicolon so only the model class consists only what properties which properties automatic properties is it clear yes so let us see what type of logic you will write inside the model class the database connections right model is a class which is used to interact with what database this is your database and here you can find in the database you can find that table which is collection of rows and columns right so model is a class where you can write the code that was related for what database whatever the code that you want to write if you want to communicate with the database differently the edu dotnet code or the orm that is the link code or the edm or edmx code you are write inside the model class is it clear model is nothing but only you write what the database related code you are write inside the model class right so model will communicate with what database what code you will write here in the view view is nothing but the user interface so in your asp.net you can find default.aspx and default.aspx.cs default.aspx you will write the designing code whereas default.aspx.cs you will write the business logic did you got it so what i'm telling here is i'm trying to tell here is in your mvc your asp.aspx file was totally removed and it was replaced with .cs html c sharp html it was introduced in our mvc latest versions right so view only consists of the user interface code whatever the .aspx code that you have written inside your, in your asp.net the same designing code will be available in the form of what view model consists of which code database logic the database logic you will write inside where model the entire database logic you have to write inside the model see here i am writing mvc is a controller view and model the database logic we will write inside where model the user interface logic we will write inside where view user interface means if you want to design a login page the designing code you have to write inside where view if you want to communicate with database the database related code you have to write inside where model did you got it the database related code you have to write inside where model what i mean to say here is right the adu.net related code the database related code you can write even in adu.net or even you can write in link that is language integrated query or you can you, you can even use adu.net entity framework calls is it clear okay now here whenever you are working with any web application or any website here you can consider i am having a browser right so this browser is called as web client web client or simply you can call as what browser user will give the request in the browser 
user will type the request in the browser, the browser will send that request to the server. Is it clear? So in MVC what will happen? How the control will flow? Whenever the user is giving the request, in MVC if you want to give the request, you have to give the controller name slash view name. Controller name slash view name. For example, I am having one controller. The name of the controller is home controller. The name of the controller is home controller. And in that home controller, I am having one view. The name of that view is index. Right? So the view will become method under controller class. So how it will look like? Class home controller. I told that any controller that is inheriting from controller class will become what? Controller. So the name of my controller is home controller. That home controller is inheriting from which class? Controller class. So here I will declare controller. Class home controller inheriting from controller. That is the reason my home controller has become what? Controller. Right? And whenever I added one view here, what will happen means my view will come in the form of what? Index. That is the method name. My view will come in the form of what? Index. Is it clear? So whenever user is typing the request in the URL, so here I have to give the controller name. What is my controller name? Home slash view name. What is my view name? That is my method name as index. What I am telling here is the view will become as a method inside this particular controller class. Is it clear? Yeah. Now here you can check it out. How the control will flow in our MVC? So as I told that, what code you write in model? Database logic. What code you write in view? User interface logic. That is presentation logic. The presentation logic you will write inside view. And what code you will write in controller? In controller you will write the application logic. The application logic means how the data will flow from controller to model and controller to view. Right? And these all 